First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor, praise, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, also the true of the Messiah, the King of Kings, royalty himself, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, also the final father, the true father, one west. This is Father Kings, going back at you yet with another lesson. Before I go farther in this lesson, let's intend to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which consists of the so called African American black, so called Latino, and Native American and West Indian descent. You represent the 12 tribes. Also, the brothers and sisters that scattered abroad sea and land that even look like the other nations. And also, our other, also our brothers and sisters that scattered abroad across this planet from the Atlantic slave trade. You also represent the 12 tribes of Israel, lost but not found, according to biblical records and biblical prophecy. <clears throat> I'm just going over, um, trying to make this lesson fairly short, see what the spirit takes me and leads me. Um, just This is concerning the 12 tribes of Israel, which is very, very important that we know the 12 tribe chart. Um, and it's very important that um, we make mission make mention of the twelve tribes, because in order for you to be a genuine servant <clears throat> of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, you must make mention of the twelve tribes, because that's the part of our gospel. That's part of well, not our gospel, but the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shah gospel that he gave to us to teach we must let our people know that they are the israelites that's why every class that i push on the fallen kings we always push that hey you know to the 12 tribes <clears throat> to the um, so-called blacks um so-called native american indians and um so-called latino west indian descent I always like to push that out that vibration out there just to um, solidify our brothers and sisters out there. And I want to prove to you that the 12 tribes of Israel is the part of the gospel. You'll never hear this in the Christian church because the Christian church, they push lies. Um, and they don't, the truth is not given to the so-called Christian church, you know. Because the true Christians are Israelites, you know. And we're going to prove that also when I um, pull out the book of James, chapter 1 on 1, James 1 and 1. It's going to touch on the 12 tribes as well as who's the true followers of Christ, which is the Israelites. You know, let's get James chapter 1, verse 1. This is James, James chapter 1, verse 1. Um, this is James, a servant of Yahweh, uh, of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. The King of Kings, Yahweh Shai, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greetings. This is James, a servant of Yahweh, and our Lord Yahweh Shai, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. greetings. Um, that's why it's so important that we open up with the twelve tribes, because <clears throat> um, in order for you to be a servant of Yahweh and, and of Yahweh Shai, you must make mention of the twelve tribes, you know. Um, and even in the last days, the 12 tribes, um, you have an, elect, uh, have an election of each tribe. That's in the book of Revelation. And that's part of the gospel because, hey, even the kingdom of heaven have 12 gates in the city, you know. Let's get there real quick. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 12, Slokia, chapter 21, verse 12. Um, it says, in the wall... Slokia. And I had a wall great and high and had 12 gates and in, a, in, a, and in the and in the gates, 12 angels and in the names written thereof, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, you know, and one of the east gate three, one of the east three gates, one of the north three gates, one of the south three gates and one of the the <clears throat> the west three gates and uh, and. And on the wall of the city had 12 foundations, and in them the name of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. So that's the body and the government. And um, just shows you and proves, proves to you that that's part of the gospel. You have to mention the 12 tribes. You know, there's, I mean, that's, that's part, that's what we, that what we push, you know. 
because the so-called Christian church, they don't have the understanding. They don't have the mysteries, you know. I want to touch on that. And also want to touch on the elect of Israel, which is um, the 12. It's within that 12 trial. 12 tribes you have in a, um, the top government of each of those tribes let me prove that to you in the scriptures I just want to read I'm going to read a couple of tribes here <clears throat> just to show you that um, that the, that the um, 12 tribes of Israel are, is, is part of the gospel you have to push forth the 12 tribe chart and this is so important that we push that in our, all our lessons because this is part of the gospel. This is Revelation chapter 7, verse 5. And of the tribe of Judah was sealed 12,000, and of the tribe of Reuben was sealed 12,000, and of the tribe of Gad was sealed 12,000. 12, and it, and it goes farther around down the tribes. To each tribe, it was sealed 12,000 out of each tribe. You know, and that's going to be the um, government, which totals the hundred and forty-four thousand. You know, <clears throat> which is of um, each tribe. So you have to mention the twelve tribes. So I can go ahead and read Father on Revelation chapter seven, verse six. And of the tribe of Asher was sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Naphtali um, was was sealed twelve thousand. The tribe of Manasseh was sealed twelve thousand. Let me get the other verse here. Revelation 7, verse 7. Any churches will never go over this because they will never go over this because they will have to explain that. They have to explain and break down all the history of the tribes. And in doing so, they will have to expose who the wicked. And we know the wicked, the so-called white man, which is Esau, Edom. And they also have to explain all the other nations on the earth. <laughs> That's why churches don't break down Revelation the seventh chapter. And of the tribe of Simeon was sealed 12,000. And of the tribe of Levi was sealed 12,000. And of the tribe of Issachar was sealed 12,000. Okay. And of, the, and of the tribe of Zebulon was sealed 12,000. And of the tribe of Joseph was, was sealed 12,000. And the tribe of Benjamin was sealed was sealed. 12,000. So this this shows you that that the 12 tribes of Israel and the 12 tribes charts is very very uh, important and you must open up your classes with that because that's the government of Israel is the 144,000 from each of these 12 tribes you see here. You know. And the government body will be the apostles of course, I can't. Of course, our Savior, King of Kings, Lord to Himself, Yahweh Shai, then um, the Creator of all, which is Yahweh, our Heavenly Father. So it's a divine order. So when you open up with your classes, you must push the twelve tribes chart, where you make mention. Like I try to make mention as much as I can. I try to say so-called blacks, um, Latinos, and Native American Indians. You represent the twelve tribes of Israel. I would like to open up with that because. That's part of the gospel. You must let the people know who they are, their identity, their heritage, their lineage, their lineage and um, what um, and what they go by. You know. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and read Judah, which is the so-called African American blacks. Benjamin, which is West Indian blacks. Levi, Haitians. Ephraim, Puerto Ricans. Manasseh, Cuban. Simeon, Dominican, Zebulon, Guatemala, and Panama, Gad, Native American Indians, Reuben, Cinema Indian, Indian, Asher, um, Cuban, Colombia to Argentina, Argent, I believe that's it, <laughs> Salakia. No, that's Tribe of Nefali, Tribe of Nefali, Argentina, Salakia. So Colombia's Asher, um, Issachar, Mexican. You know, so um, this shows you this is part of our gospel, the 12 tribes of Israel, you know. Um, and with that, I want to close it out. I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Also, true up beside the King of Kings, royalty himself, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach. Also, the final five, true father, one of the West. This is for all the kings right back at you. Yet, one another lesson, Shalom Israel. And Judah being the head tribe, which our Lord, King of Kings, come from. 
It tells you about that in Hebrews the seventh chapter, verse 14. And with that, I want to close out and give all honor, praise, and glory to our Heavenly Father Yahweh, also the true and the King of Kings, royalty himself, Yahweh Shah, Amashiach, also the final, also the final power of the truth, Father, one West, Shalom, Israel, peace and blessings, and Shalom.